I'm interviewing Jack Amar, A-M-A-R. This is tape number two. You were telling me about the gathering of people. Yes. As I told you, we were gathered through the uh, Platea Eleftheria, which means a uh, place uh, of freedom. We were there about 15,000 Jews, all men. We supposed uh, to go inside to a bank, which was uh, uh, which was used by the German for office, and we used to re register ourselves. Meanwhile, the sun was very hot; people was fainting there, and they says they were they started to hit us. They uh, started to. <coughs> Us to do exercises. They did, let us, then they did not let us put newspaper to cover our head from the sun. It was a day I prefer not to remember. It was a very hard day. How long did they keep you there? They keep us from 8 in the morning till 5 o'clock at, at 6 o'clock at night. And then what happened? After we went home. We registered ourselves and went home. The next day was again, but not all the, the people went there. It was much less people. And uh, after that, they started to call. They gave us uh, some uh, registration card with our name and number. And they started to call us by number or by name in order to work to different places for the German government, inside Greece, inside Salonika, outside of Salonika, or uh, in Greece, I mean. What type of work did they have you do? For instance, working on the railroad, working on the uh, munition factories, and uh, most of the people start to evade to evade the the work with uh, certificates from doctor. They were sick, or uh, they couldn't do the job. Some they succeed, some they don't succeed. Was there any resistance at this point to no. the Nazi occupation? No, not at all. I was protected by uh, some Greek friends. They were, uh, the name was Kazakos, and he was the manager of uh, an airline. And uh, one member of this family used to have a, a, a place where it, uh, they used to, uh, to make ammunition. And uh, I was protected by him, and when I was called, he took me, put me over there. Like this, I didn't go any work on uh, on uh, railroads or other work, heavy works. I worked there, and I was no, not working every day. He used to let me go free once, twice a week, but I was reported I was working. <coughs> For instance, I was—I can say I work hard because almost I was not working. It's visible, and I was reported working. The occupation happened when? The occupation was in the uh, beginning of April 1941. And this was now what year that these Jews returned back? And they returned back from where? From this indemnity that was paid. Uh, was uh, the beginning. Oh, 1943. And how did the Jewish community life start to differ at that point? The, 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 in that time, if you, let, if you let me speak about the Jewish community, I want to tell you, we, have, we had a rabbi of Polish descent. They wanted to be mother. And uh, we hired a rabbi from Poland. This was a malediction for the Jewish community. 
because he organized everything. He organized the deportation of the Jews. He told us we are going to a paradise. We are going to our home in uh, Krakowia. Everything is going to be like before. Not to worry about nothing. What was his name? Koretz. Rabbi Koretz. He became the president, the chief rabbi of the Jewish community, helped by uh, some other people which were from German descent. Because uh, in 1942, a group of German Jews came from Thessalonica. Those German Jews, as we learn later, they were sent by the chairman in order to spy the Jewish community. And these people organized everything. How did this rabbi become the president of the Jewish community? They were put by the German. At the beginning, when the German came, they deported the rabbi to Austria, Vienna. He was there for about six months. After, he came back to Greece, to Salonika. In that time, was another uh, Jewish, the head of the Jewish community. And this one was appointed by the commandator. He was, uh, he could do anything because uh, he was not uh, capable. The capable people, were, uh, people, they were left out. And they, this one, the, the president was doing anything the German told him to do. He, he, even in its being any German. He was helped by uh, a German Jew his name was Albala. When was this first deportation? Do you remember? When? when was this first deportation? March. Of 1943? 1943. And where did this deportation go to? To Auschwitz. Did you know about Auschwitz? No. Did any of the Jewish community hear anything about Auschwitz? Maybe they knew the rabbi knew. We are sure the rabbi knew. Some people, they didn't trust anybody. They escaped from Salonika. That time the, the German commandatura put us in a sort of ghetto to concentrate all the Jews in different ghetto in order to be ready to be deported. And uh, some of Jews, young people, they went to the resistance. Some family, rich family, they escaped to Athens, which Athens was occupied by the Italian. Was not, was not German in Athens. The Italian were uh, very good with the Jews. They never interfered with the Jewish community. They were living their life. Many family left for uh, Athens. How they left, they had to pay very dear in order to escape. How did they do that? Through changing to train worker, railroad worker, or uh, getting uh, uh, false identities with Greek name and everything. The police was uh, helping to give the identity to so the Greek police helped these Jews escape? To escape, too. But some other people, they were paid, and they had to be paid in gold, not in drums. Where were you in March 1943? I was in the With What was the name of the ghetto? No name. Just the Jewish ghetto? The Jewish ghetto. How many people were in this ghetto? Oh, we were about 3,000 people. 